Well, apparently I'm not through yapping. <laughs> uh, I ate my fish, about most of it without the tartar sauce, and some with. I really do like tartar sauce, and I think this is homemade. It's good tartar sauce. I love dipping fries in tartar sauce. I'd rather dip fries. I'm not really a fry person, but I'd rather dip fries in tartar sauce than anything else, more so than ketchup or anything else. Although I actually do really like ketchup. <laughs> But um, I'm the type of person that if there's a steak, I'd rather eat the steak as it is rather than put Worcestershire sauce or A1 or anything like that on, on it. Even though I actually do like those sauces and there's a time to do it, sometimes I'll do a few bites with it and mostly without it. I would rather taste the steak as it is. That's how I would prefer it and hope it's a good steak. <laughs> uh, same thing with fish. But I do like a variety of, like, Oscar this, and there's all kind of toppings that cooks make that are really good sometimes, and that makes the dish. That happens a lot with seafood, and although I'm very content to eat a piece of fish with no sauce or anything, maybe a little lemon, maybe a little butter, no trotter sauce, no nothing, just the fish and the lemon and the butter. Uh... <clears throat> And maybe not even the lemon or the butter, just the fish, how it is. And the steak, same thing. I never put ketchup on the steak unless I'm at the house. Now my mom's a good cook, but she admits herself she's not a she's not a fancy cook. She doesn't do adventurous things. She's just good everyday comfort food type of cook. And I and and she admits she doesn't cook steak very well. She likes steak real well. And she doesn't, can't figure out, beg your pardon, <clears throat> can't figure out how to get it cooked. <laughs> anyway, so if it's at home, I might put ketchup on it. But you will never find me putting ketchup on a steak. Maybe A1, maybe Worcestershire. What's that other one? Heinz 57. Or maybe some restaurant deal, but, uh, but not ketchup. Never. Even though I really do like ketchup. I can't stand dry things. That's that's one reason I'm, I dip my fries in the tartar sauce. And uh, I can't stand a dry sandwich. It's got to have plenty of mayonnaise, which is not healthy, I admit. But it keeps it from being dry. And I love the taste of mayonnaise. Inherited that from my mom. <laughs> she loves mayonnaise things. That wasn't a good thing to inherit. Uh, but, uh... <clears throat> Well, anyway, so I'm talking about food. <laughs> you like to listen about food? I'm going to turn myself into an actual bona fide official foodie. I cannot cook yet. I'm trying to cook every now and then. I just try to cook something. I assimilate is what I do. You know, if the box of pasta says so much butter and so much milk and water and all that. And if I can boil it then maybe I have a chance. But if it's something besides boil, I'm dead meat. I do not know how to cook anything, but I would like to learn. I would especially love to learn how to cook seafood because I would, I, you go in a grocery store and you see all that fresh raw seafood and oh, it looks so good, not raw. I, I wouldn't, I don't do sushi and stuff, but it looks so good if you knew what to do with it. And I can imagine how I've seen it in restaurants before. Say, so, wow, I'd love to have that, but but I wouldn't buy it because for one, it's really expensive. For two, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know how to cook it. I ruin everything I touch. I burn my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I'm rambling again. Okay, see y'all later.